All right. This is a hot topic at cupoflinux.com. It has been recently announced that the merger between Razer QT and uh, LXDE was to create a desktop called LXQT. And it has recently become available in the Arch user repository. I am going to show you how to install this on Manharo GNU Linux, and then I'm going to review it for you right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to open up a terminal emulator, and I'm going to put this in full screen mode. Now, the installation process was pre-recorded because this took 29 minutes to build. Okay, now, we're going to issue Yaourt uh, LXQT-Desktop. Do not try to install this using Pemec in Manhoro. The build will fail. There's only one option, so press 1 and press Enter. Okay, and then as the installation proceeds here, you will press No to edit the package builds, and for No. And then you will press Enter when it asks you to install, if you want to continue installing, and then after it finishes building, uh, if you want to install it. So you'll press Yes. You'll only be pressing No on editing the package builds. Okay, and then yes for everything else. Now you can see here on the screen, this is moving quite quickly. This is because, as I stated, this was pre-recorded. Now, once you finish building this, you're going to need to install some additional things to have a complete desktop. This will work as a desktop in its own right, but if you want wallpapers, you're going to need to install Nitrogen. If you want to have a right-click menu on your desktop, you're going to need to add Openbox. And then, of course, you're going to want to have GTK theming abilities and that sort of thing. So I'm going to cover all of this once the installation process completes. And this was very easy and straightforward to install. Um, it, it was just a little time consuming. Uh, 29 minutes on a virtual machine uh, that I assigned two cores to with four gigs of RAM. So depending on your processor speed, your mileage may vary. You may build this in as quickly as 10 minutes on some machines and some machines may take longer. But the nice thing about this, that being said, that it wasn't really too long of a build. This is a really nice and elegant, lightweight desktop. Great for those of you who are running older hardware that want to have a nice modern uh, user interface. But you'll see here that there are some additional things you're going to need to do. The installation now has completed. And then at this point, we're just going to go ahead and close out this terminal. Okay, and then we're going to select to log out of the system. Okay, and then uh, MDM is going to come up here in just a moment. And uh, from there, I'm going to select my username. And you're going to see there's a middle button here. There's no icon on it in this instance. I selected my username, then clicked the middle button. You're going to select LXQT Desktop, okay, and then put in your password. Once this is booted up, you're going to see I am in my new LXQT Desktop. Now, it is not going to look like this when you first install it. Something else I wanted to mention is I built this on top of Manharo uh, 089 and then updated it to the Pre-10 before installing this desktop. So you'll see on the screen it's 0810 Pre-1. So everything was completely up to date. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to click on this little key here in the menu here and you're going to go into preferences and you are going to go into the LXQT system settings. Okay, and under appearance here, 
you can pretty much choose your widget style. I chose GTK Plus, okay? Now, um, also under session settings, and this is critical. Under basic settings dialog, you are going to need to make sure that open box is selected and not XFWM4. You want it to use open box as the window manager. And if you don't have open box installed on your Manharo system, you must install it. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to right click on our little star icon here and select the package manager. Okay, and then from here, we're going to uh, add some things. First, if you want a wallpaper like you're seeing on the screen here, you're going to need to install nitrogen. So just do a search for nitrogen, press enter. You will see I have that installed. Next, you're going to need open box. And these are the items I installed to be able to get the look and appearance that you're seeing here. I installed LX Appearance OB Conf. I also installed OB Conf so that I can configure Open Box. When you select those, it will automatically select Open Box for you because it is a dependency. And uh, those are the only items that I installed there. Okay, now, while we're in our session settings here, I'm going to click here. Okay, under auto start, you're going to need to add nitrogen in order to make the desktop work. So under nitrogen, when you, you would normally press add, but I'm going to press edit so you can see the proper uh, syntax we're using here. Let me uh, go ahead and resize this for you as well. I named it nitrogen. And then the command is nitrogen hyphen hyphen restore. Okay. And that is in the application auto start. Now to set your wallpaper, you're going to ha actually have to run nitrogen. And to do this, I'll just press alt F2 here. And just run it. Okay. Press enter. And then under preferences, you will need to point to a directory. So by pressing the add button, you can navigate to a directory. I went to user share backgrounds. Okay. And then uh, it gave me all of these images. And I can choose any one of these that I want and press apply. And it will give me that wallpaper and you can choose how you want it to go. Automatic, scaled, center tiled, zoomed, zoom fill, whatever. Automatic seemed to work okay for me. So that was my uh, choice of preference. Okay. And then, of course, um, once you have open box and everything set up, you may have to log out and log back in, but very critical to make sure open box is set up here as, uh, your window manager, you'll log out, log back in, and then you'll be able to right click and have a menu. And then of course, um, under a uh, system, you'll want to go to the open box configuration manager where you can choose a theme. There are a number to choose from. I went on Gnome Look to pick the theme that I have, and the theme that I selected for this is a Turquoise Knights Open Box. And of course, if you installed LX Appearance, you're going to have that customized look and feel item uh, when you scroll down in the configuration editor here. And I chose the XFCE Dusk just for laughs and giggles. And it looks like a pretty nice little desktop. I've played with this a little bit. I haven't broken anything, so it seems to be working okay. Although sometimes icons may not appear properly, so you're going to need to actually go into that settings manager again. Let me go ahead and pull that up again. All right, and uh, when you go into appearance, you might want to play around with some of the icon themes here and pick something out that you think would work. Because uh, one thing I did notice is uh, when I did go into... Um, 
my file manager here, I was noticing sometimes it's not displaying icons. So you may have, your mileage may vary. Um, I do realize this is beta software. So you might want to have to play around uh, with some icons uh, to get icons to appear in the file manager, or you could just get a different file manager altogether. Uh, I'm just using the Thunar, which uh, ships with uh, the XFCE desktop. Uh, that's the only little niggle that I could find on this. But you have a number of other options available to you as well. Uh, let's go ahead and click on our clock. You're going to see that you have the clock with the time, so you can manage your appointments and everything. You have a mixer control here. There's also a volume control here, so it's in two places. But you can change this by uh, affecting things in auto start uh, to your liking. The thing is, I may want to go back to the XFCE desktop in this particular build, so I didn't want to shut anything off. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, close that calendar here. You can manage all of your drives right here. It's telling you no devices are available, but you can right-click on the icon and you can configure your removable media and that sort of thing. And you can also add panel widgets. And let's go ahead and click on this. You're going to see there really isn't a whole lot of uh, choices for right now. But the thing is, this is meant to be very, very stable and very light, uh, even though this is a beta. Um, so far, what I'm seeing here, it's pretty good. And then, of course, everything that automatically starts is still here, such as uh, such as PEMIC, which lets me know that my system's up to date. Okay, I also have a battery indicator here, a network manager. This, this automatically ran network manager automatically connected me to the internet. Very nice indeed. Uh, a volume control here. And then, of course, your clip man. You can drag application icons here. Now, when I tried this earlier, that did not seem to work. But let's go ahead and put that to the test. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this archive manager and drag it here. You'll see a little hand with a plus. Okay, and very good. It worked this time. Before installing OpenBox and uh, nitrogen and all of these other things. I tried to do this and it didn't work. And as a matter of fact, uh, it only gave me one desktop and then once getting open box and everything installed, then uh, all of these lit up. And the nice thing is you can uh, roll your mouse cursor over uh, an empty portion of your desktop and you're gonna see that it's switching the desktops there, which is pretty neat too. All right, so now I have a quick launch here. So this is very nice. So you can just drag and drop icons and then make this double as a dock, uh, which I think is pretty cool. All right, and then of course, uh, just a regular uh, menu for this, nothing fancy. So you're not gonna get whisker or anything, just a simple little menu uh, to uh, you know navigate and that sort of thing. So everything else, your file asso associations are managed here. You have a keyboard and mouse controls, a power manager. You can manage your screens, session settings, and shortcuts. You have a firewall configuration editor. You can manage your login window here, uh, printer settings, and then other settings based on items that you have installed on your system. I like what I see here, but it does look like it needs a little bit of work. Uh, but I'm eagerly awaiting to see what happens with this in the future. Um, and I was surprised it really wasn't that hard for me to, uh, you know, compile this. Uh, once I figured out getting that open box in and getting everything else in, this seems to be uh, quite flawless. So I want to say excellent job to the uh, LXDE and the Razer QT teams for, for this merger. This looks like an awesome project. And that's just something we don't see often enough in the Linux community in that you see a, a number of good projects getting together to put something really great together. This being a great example. And of course, another example that comes off the top of my head is Netrunner uh, merging with Manhara to make a wonderful, wonderful KDE desktop. Probably the fastest KDE desktop I have ever seen. So if you have not checked out my video on uh, on uh, Netrunner Arsh, I highly recommend you check that out because it has that Manharo base. It is incredible software as well. 
great looking desktop here. I'm going to take some time to play with this a little bit more because I see this does have a lot of potential. That's all I have on this for now. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out. Peace out.